What's up guys, got some more Crowfall action for you today. It has been a while since I've talked about Crowfall, and I'll be honest, I haven't really been playing a lot too much recently, I've been doing some real life stuff, and uh, it hasn't really been a priority, and it's, it hasn't been super exciting, but they've recently had a perspective change, a big perspective change has happened in the game, uh, and I figured it was worth talking about. So, Crowfall, for the longest time, has been in this age of plenty where... With a decent amount of effort, you could have the sickest gear, the sickest spec, and have everything you ever wanted and more with very little effort, to be honest. It was very easy to achieve these peak meta characters running the meta builds with all of your buddies also doing the same thing. And even to the point to where our guilds had just like tons of leftover stuff. The, the amount of excess that we had was crazy for the longest time. And it's been like that really... For a year plus? I don't know. I can't think of the last time the game's actually been like, wow, we really, like, can't do what we want to do. Uh, and now, things are dramatically different. The gear is being churned through. The disciplines are incredibly rare. Too rare. Uh, getting these peak characters where you have everything you want is going to be maybe impossible. And if it's possible, it's going to be fleeting because the gear is going to be... Uh, gone through much more quickly, and uh, you're not you're not just going to be able to create disciplines on the fly like you've been able to with a uh, you know a, a one iron and one ethereal dust. You're going to actually have to get these things, and there's going to be a serious economy for these things. For example, Demon's Pact, one extra passive slot, that is going to be so sought after. There, there's going to be an economy for that. I would almost bet Demon's Pact runes are going to be like some sort of currency. That's how valuable these things are going to be. Um, and uh, this needed to happen. This scarcity uh, mindset needed to take place at some point. Right now, it kind of sucks. If we're, uh, For the most part, it kind of sucks because um, the disciplines are super rare. Like Everyone's running around with like no disciplines, grinding their ass off for these things. And the discipline balance is pretty poor. So a lot of the highlight, a lot of these balance issues are finally now going to be highlighted um, in the game because everybody can't run the things they want to run. These the disciplines have been wildly imbalanced. Like there are some that are just above and beyond amazing, and others that are just completely dog shit terrible. And that's to be expected when you have as many as they've got. But since everybody has had access to everything, that's sort of not been an issue because people just don't use the bad ones and people only use the good ones. But now when you don't have the good ones, all of a sudden this balance is now pushed to the forefront. And uh, more importantly, certain class design shortcomings have been patched up with disciplines. A lot of builds, um, a lot of mana builds, that have, a lot of classes that have serious mana issues have been sort of band-aiding it with noble purpose. And now that you just can't have noble purpose 100% of the time, these balance issues are finally coming to the forefront, which is good. Um, so it, it's nice to see that. It's also nice to see that people can't be slaves to the meta as easily. Sure, people are eventually going to farm up everything they want uh, and get extras of demons packed you know, and whatever sort of meta disciplines people are going to be running. But it's going to be much harder to just be like, hey, you, you play this and this and that's what we do and everyone is running the same thing and it's boring as fuck. That's going to be hard to do. That's going to be like a, it's going to be something you actually have to work at. So uh, I like that that's just not a given anymore. That should make the game more interesting. And also, I guarantee there's going to, there's some stuff we've been sleeping on. Like I guarantee there's some disciplines and some combinations that we have just thought was terrible but now that people are sort of finally forced to have to use them and have to think about the game in a different perspective, they're going to come to the forefront and we're going to feel really dumb. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and ultimately, these disciplines being scarce is going to drive conflict in the game. If people are out having to get disciplines, having to work towards their builds and characters, it means that you can't just be like, hey, I'm only going to log in for sieges. I'm only going to play when there's something definitively going on. There's going to be more people mingling out in the world, getting in organic conflicts where, hey, me and my boys, like, this is my, my favorite Crowfall moments are the spontaneous moments where I'm just hanging out with my boys and we're doing some shit and we see some people over the mountain over there and we go and fuck them up. It's not like... A lot of the best moments aren't these big epic battles with, like, coordinated whatevers and never they know we're coming and we know they're whatever. 
Uh, it's the organic stuff. Um, and I think that's going to be a lot more common now that people are out in the world doing things uh, and you don't just have everything given to you. So, uh, next up on the uh, Band-Aid ripping off uh, killing spray that's happened, armor durability considerably less. Armor is getting churned through pretty quickly now, and it's a two-pronged attack. Number one, the durability is considerably less from what I understand. Uh, but number two, and probably the most important thing, is that people are in combat with PvE mobs far more than they have been in the past because they have to uh, refarm because there was a wipe. They gotta refarm their gear, refarm the skinning mobs, refarm the gold. Also, gold has been nerfed, so it just takes more. There's more PvE killing involved now, and the big one is the War Tribes, which drop the disciplines, and War Tribes also drop extra craftable stuff. So, people are in combat more, considerably in combat more now than they've ever been, and the, the gear got nerfed. I believe they are bumping up the durability some, so if you're playing the patch right now and you're like, this is ridiculous, these numbers are going to get tuned. I think I saw Blair, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think he said he was bumping up the armor by like 300 durability points or something, like just all of it. Um, so, that's this stuff is getting tuned, but I think the uh, the thing I'm trying to drive home is this this scarcity mentality is, I think a thing in the future, guys. Like don't it's not going to go back to the way it was, which is good because it can't because when everybody has everything, it sort of kills the world activity. So um, yeah, armor durability considerably less, um, effectively a, a lot less than it was because everybody's killing war tribes, killing things to get items that they now have to get. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, also, another reason why things are scarce, the wipe. There was a fucking item wipe, gold wipe. Uh, not a skill wipe. I think we might be getting a I mean, I don't know this to be certain. Everybody likes to, you know, the doomsday wipe predictions or whatever. Uh, there's going to be wipes. I mean, the game's not out yet. It's in, I would mm, expect it. Uh, but I wouldn't be shocked if there was another wipe fairly soon, like a full one, skills and everything. Uh, this was only an item and character wipe, but it's a, just another damn thing that people have to farm back up, farm back up the disciplines, or not the display, yeah, farm back up the crafting disciplines, farm back up the crafting characters, um, all that shit. I think has a lot of people a little bit with the game right now and a little bit of a holding pattern. They're not going balls to the wall crazy. I think you may see that in 5.9. I know I'm personally not going to be going balls to the wall crazy in the game. Uh, I am going to chill for a bit. I'm going to, I'm still going to mingle, still going to mingle, but I'm going to chill for a bit and uh, sort of let off the gas and, and recharge the battery a bit. So, um, yeah, Crowfall. Uh, I, I wrote down some notes here. I think I've hit pretty much everything. The main thing is that there is a massive perspective shift that has happened, uh, and I guess... I'm sort of awakening you guys to that if you haven't been keeping up with the game. If you've been somebody that's been turned off by the fact that you just log in and everybody's got everything and uh, everybody has and runs all the meta disciplines, that is most definitely not the case anymore uh, because those disciplines are rare as fuck. Um, and, they are, and if everybody wants Demons Pact, guess what? There's going to be a serious economy for that. And even if it does drop, everybody's going to want it. So, yeah, uh, the age of plentiful is over, and quite literally it's over because that's another thing. The plentiful harvesting armor got nerfed. That is one of the most hilarious bugs that everybody, like, so a lot of the major, almost every major guild that I know of knew about that bug, and everybody in, like, a symbiotic relationship all just didn't report it. Like, everyone's, everyone knew it was a thing, and nobody said anything for a while. And I think that's kind of funny. I mean, it's kind of funny that everybody sort of was like, all right, we all hate each other, but, like, let's sing Kumbaya all around this one bug, right? And uh, so that finally got patched up, so no more fucking crits for days infinitely with infinite stamina, fellas. Um... But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to sign up with Crowfall with my uh, a referral link down in the description. I think, now don't quote me on this, I think they may have opened up the closed beta to people that sign up with my link. So when you when you sign up with that link, look at the checkmark box. Well, pay attention to the checkmark boxes. I think you may just be able to get in now. Don't quote me on that, 
but definitely sign up with that link in the description. Uh, you help out your boy Zyback, you get into the beta for free, which may have started now, I don't know. Or, you get in when it starts, and you get 5% off. So, fucking sign up. Uh, Crowfall, right now, I'm not playing it a ton. Uh, there are, they definitely need some tuning. This is a fresh new patch that is full of some bullshit. But, uh, I'm liking how things are going. And 5.9, when we get that client controller, the footage you're seeing right now is pre-client controller. Once we get that controller, you're going to be seeing a lot of people hop in. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.